Yo, what's the deal? This is Muska. We're on the Supra Euro Tour. Uh, Scotland, first time here. Just uh, had a little demo in the rain, but uh, got rained out. Here we are in the pub now. Yeah, well, um, you know, the Sky Top 3 is coming out. You know, it's definitely a little different than, than the 1 and the 2. And uh, I think it was because, like, you know, for us, like, I don't think the Sky Top necessarily represents a high shoe. I think it represents an evolution in skate in shoes in general and then what the next phase of, the, of shoes is going to be. And I think everybody kind of went to the high top phase now. Vulcanized highs were very uh, oversaturated in the market, kind of. And everybody made a thought, probably thought we were going to go higher and higher. And we, we switched it to a mid on them and did a cupsole on it instead of vulcanize and you know just kind of like I think like the, the the era of shoes footwear in general is going towards like 90s technical kind of you know more uh, runner cr cross trainer kind of mixed shoes you know so yeah it's definitely different some people are upset because it's not a high top but I think that like at some point the silhouette becomes the same you know no matter what lines you put on a, on a shoe that's that high it's still a pretty similar looking shoe when you step far back you know so for us it was just trying to come up with a new concept and something different to like like lead the next uh, uh, future of footwear you know I'm, I'm almost like happy that we're getting a similar reaction with the three than we got with that we got with the one you know what I mean because people are like if people are upset and like like they don't like something about it they don't like this and that means like something's good because it's causing up controversy and, and then the people that get it right now are getting it and you know the people that don't I feel like maybe in a year from now or so might yeah. go like okay we see what they were trying to present you know because it was a slow start for the one too and I had you know reached a lot of doubt for it and they were like Musk is crazy what's he's doing you know I guess it's crazy he has high top and all this stuff, you know, and and um, and it was just something that like I like to look at our at our marketplace and what's in our industry and go what's not available in our industry and not go and not look at our industry and go okay what's selling hot in our market and let me make my version of it, you know, and I think that's what our our industry tends to do a lot, you know, so like I just like to like create something new and different and and uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, you know. What I mean? I kind of had to fight for it to make it happen because there was a lot of doubt behind it, even internally with the company, you know, because still, like, you know, everybody, every company's goal is to, to, to make sales and, and make money, basically, and have a good product that sells, and I think even internally they were, like, questioning it, kind of, like, you know, but then since, since that, you know, that came out and I sort of proved, proved myself and the ideas that I have, so now that they've allowed me to have a little bit more creativity and, you know, and, and like, me, myself, personally, like, I'm a skateboarder to my, to my soul, you know, my, that is me, that's everything about me, but at the same time, I'm still influenced by a lot of other things in this world besides just skateboarding. I, I love fashion, I love art, I love uh, uh, design, you know, uh, all kinds of different things that sort of influence um, uh, me in, in life, you know, so I think that, like, all those different things go into this pot, into the shoes and different stuff too, and I think that's why we were able to like appeal to a wider market as well. And I think that that's like a really just uh, amazing thing that like a lot of skaters are like, oh, like that's whack. Like people that don't skate are wearing the shoes, you know. But t to me, I think that's amazing because that just like opens up the skate industry to more people even. And they're like, you know, you see people that play basketball and they're wearing skateboarding shoes or are into fashion or or hip hop or all these different things, you know, and 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 they're supporting it. So to me. As a skater, at my heart, it, it's it's only better because that just turns more people onto our industry, and maybe maybe they'll end up skating because of it, you know, or or at least buy some of the clothing, or you know, or get their kids to skate or whatever, you know. So like, I think that it's a positive thing, and like that we're able to reach out to other people outside of skateboarding, you know. I think it's been a good thing, you know. So. Yeah. I mean, for me, basically, like, I'm just fascinated by all things in life, you know what I mean? Like, by all different things that you can do and accomplish and create and come up with an idea in your head and manifest that idea into reality, whether it's making beats, creating photography, uh, t-shirt graphic design, board design, shoe design, you know, all of it, all of it sort of stimulates the same, same uh, uh, ideas in my head, you know what I mean? So like, but I'm very like obsessive compulsive with the things that I do. So like most of the time, uh, as I'm doing one thing, that's all I'm doing, you know, like when I did music, 
I was just doing music, creating the beats, recording this album, and I had this album in my head. I was like, I gotta make this album. I have these hip hop icons I wanna work with. And you know, and I did it, and once the album was done, then I was like, okay, let me slide that over. Let me get back into skating again, focus hardcore on skating, skate, 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 film a video part, you know? And then as that, his, that goal's kind of accomplished, and it was like, you know, the art was always there for me, and I always did like, you know, my board graphics and, and little, I was always drawing on top of my board all sorts of stuff, but, um, moved to New York City and just was surrounded by a lot of, a lot of other artists and just really got just uh, uh, just really hooked on it and just been going hardcore with it and, and mixed media from the photography and taking the images and printing them, silk screening, um, image transfers, all these different things uh, that I've been working on and, and uh, I'm just into everything you could possibly do in life and, and I don't want to limit myself to anything. I want to be able to try all these things and, and there's no there's no rules in life. There's no reason why if you make beats you can't do art or if you do art you can't skate. If you skate you can't design shoes or you, you know what I mean? It's, it's all, because to me like I said it's all connected. It all stimulates the same thing in my brain and and people have been telling me all my whole life to, to focus on one thing, focus on one thing and to me it is, it's always been one thing and they all they all feed off of each other. You know it's like if I, if I, I don't know if I shoot like a cool skateboard photo like then sometimes it, it drives me to want to go skate and get a photo like somebody else shoot one of me or or you know if I make an ill beat I want to listen to it my, my radio and go skate and, and do tricks you know so so it's like it's all connected to me but at the moment yes I'm like very 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 focused on art and uh, photography and mixed media and creating all these different stuff and gone back to some of my like graffiti roots and and doing some of that stuff and, and some street stuff in New York and in LA and uh, what's cool is through skateboarding, I have the outlet to use some of that art on skateboard graphics and t-shirts and panels for shoes or textures or colors and, and different things. So like I said, it's all connected and just one of them feeds the other and, and so, so on. You know? Um, I think the skate industry in general has changed a lot, you know, some for the better, some for the worse, you know, like I, I think as it gets bigger, it loses a little bit of its soul. I don't think skaters have, but I think the industry has a little bit, you know, um, and, and, and I've watched it, you know, come from being pretty small, you know, relatively small in the early 90s to as my career started to blow, the whole industry kind of was growing at the same time, you know. But I think it's amazing. I think the bigger the industry gets, the, the more people can make a living off what they love to do, you know, and, and, uh, and, and it just continues the longevity of skateboarding in general, you know what I mean? Because we've seen it die out. In the 70s it died, in the 80s it died, in the 90s it was small and then it grew, you know, and, and I think right now we're at an era where it's like, I don't think it's going anywhere, you know what I mean? It seems like it's like, you know, like Little League Baseball or something now, you know what I mean? Where it's like, you know, it's sort of a solidified its, its position in this world, you know, and, and uh, but, you know, the, the more corporate things get, the more, the more it gets out there, the, the more dangerous it gets because it could turn that quick, you know, and like, I just want to see it remain what skateboarding is to everybody, and that's just a love of skateboarding and doing tricks and riding, and, and, and I don't want to see it become golf on ESPN and like everybody be quiet and study this trick, and there's just, it seems like all the contest stuff has become more of a, um, more of just like a tricks. It's not even skateboarding anymore. It's just like, here's this obstacle, everybody does their one trick, and then you move to the next obstacle, and it's like people aren't even skating anymore, like, you know what I mean? I haven't seen it yet, but from what I hear about it, I think that's what I'm referencing right yeah, now a little yeah. bit. So <laughs> I can't formulate an opinion on it because I haven't seen it yet myself. I, I don't watch TV and and uh, I don't. I haven't been going on the internet at all. So like, I'm just sort of like I like staying in my own little world and like I'm I'm trying to stay old school nowadays. Where it's like you know I like to to see things in person and have you know one on one contact with situations and people and and you know just more of a people person than a, than a screen, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And like, for me, like nowadays, like too, I'm just like, you know, I'm not trying to keep up with anybody. I know I'm not the best skater out there by any means. There's like so many good skaters, you know, but like, I still feel like, you know, I still love skateboarding to death. And, and as long as my body allows me to, I'm gonna continue to skate. And as long as the industry allows me to offer what I have to it, I'm gonna continue to do it, you know? And, but like I said, like by, by, by no way am I trying to keep up with anybody out there right now. These kids are so amazing and so good. And, and that is, also what it enables the longevity of skateboarding because the kids just keep getting better and better and better and when you think right when you think it's reached its limit it hasn't you know and I'm curious to see where it goes from here you know oh, yeah. the reaction of the kids today when you were there that kid you sang the kids forehead <laughs> so but you were, I mean you're stoking out kids that possibly weren't even born when you were yeah. first skating I mean yeah. I mean, I mean, that cool. must stoke you out. Oh, I can't. I mean, like I said, every day is a blessing. You know what I mean? And like, uh, it's uh, 
Yeah, it's, it's cool, you know, it's like, and, and that's why I feel I still have something to offer this industry, and I still want to continue to do it, you know, and like, I want to spread positivity and skateboarding and hype the kids up, and that's what it's all about, you know, like, I feel like, in a way, that's like, part of the reason why I was put on this earth, you know what I mean, so like, that's what uh, I want to continue to do, so, yeah. Yo, it's the deal, this is Muska, I'm chilling with Route 1, that's what's up, son, peace out. Ha <laughs> ha.